Now, this is your general reading for uh, November 2022. Please hit like and subscribe for a chance to win a free reading hypnosis, whatever I do. Also visit Enchanted Sky. Enchanted Sky, I have Lana's Enchanted Sky and Enchanted Sky. If you have either one, we'll loop to each other. So that way you will find me. Okay. Um... Please visit Metaphysical Meanderings. I'm going to be doing a, a bunch of predictions for the elections. So please be watching that. Also visit um, some of my other things. Um, there's going to be soon a prediction website. I have a, this guy's has taken off. If you don't know that what's been going on with me, I'm just so busy. Um, I can't keep up. And, and if you do get a, if you make an appointment with me, you can visit enchantedsky.com book a reading. You will probably talk to my secretary, who is my daughter. So, okay. Um, with that said, I'm going to give you a joke of the day. So I've been telling it throughout the, all, the, all these. And uh, which is, and it's old. Which is, which is faster, hot or cold? Hot, because you can catch a cold. So there you go. All right, so... Hmm. Change. There is a man of power with a new start. You're expecting things to go well. Yeah, there's an ending. Now, see, here we go again. Now, I the last three readings I have gotten, someone is going to be helping. This time, this is a king of swords. It's a man. So it could be a judge, a attorney. It's a person of power. Now, it also could be a Gemini, uh, Aquarius, or a Libra. So it could be you. But all I know is that you're maybe you're helping somebody, but I think you might be getting it. Because most of the time when I see this, you are getting help from somebody. Like you're, yeah. Now, the Wheel of Fortune is also involved. Extremely, extremely lucky. And that's sitting right there. Now, you've been confused and there. It might be something a little hidden about this new start. Now, here's the Queen of Cups. Now, the Queen of Cups sits here is you using your intuition. But it also could be a water sign. So it could be a Pisces, Cancer, um, or uh, Scorpio. But all I know is that You've been discontent about something and you're wanting some change. So very pleasantly, very nicely, something is ending. It has to do with money. You're expecting the best card in the deck. You're expecting this to go like, wow. Okay. And you are trying to get away from what doesn't work. And it's from your past. It's all in how you're dealing with this. Okay. But this, there is a new start coming this month. It has to do with help coming from somebody. And it is definitely a change. Okay. Let's pull the other deck. Owning your own power. Yep. You are in control. Remember, you are in control. Financial and material changes. See what I'm saying? There's something happened. Now, Now remember, this is towards the end of Thanksgiving to into Christmas. So maybe somebody's going to give you a nice big Christmas chunk of change or something. Do you see what I'm saying? But there is. There's something coming. In the last three greetings I've done, they've all had this. Now, your third eye chakra. Your third eye should be activated right now real heavily because we are in uh, Jupiter's in Pisces. And um, just letting you know. Suffering, you've been suffering in silence, so now it's time to stop that. Because you've been trapped in fear, and maybe maybe this is financial, but you've been just really, really tight in money, and some somebody's been deceiving you, somebody's, there's been envy, there, there's something, but you are moving on, all right? And you are getting the help that you need, and the sun is shining down upon you. So what are you going to do? Take this as a blessing because it is. Now, if you guys are not following me like regularly, you're going to know that I have been telling you that Pisces, uh, Jupiter goes kind of tra transits to Pisces. And 
it doesn't quite direct. It's still retrograde, sorta. It's starting to go direct. Anyway, this is a time that you're gonna be extremely, extremely psychic, extremely possibly lucky, depending on where your Pisces sits. I would say about 75% of everybody has a Pisces, maybe 85%, something like that. Anyway, um, make sure that you are looking to see where that sits, okay? Um, because that's where your luck resides, okay? And it's for everybody. It's not just a person that's a Pisces, okay? So think about that, process this, and take the blessing for what it's worth. Blessings to you make it a great month.